Okay, so, babe, since we're on the subject of things that you've overheard me say, either in phone conversations with other anglers, from watching my videos to just kind of being around fishing now for a bit, what other things are there that we say? What, what fishing lingo is there that doesn't make sense to you? Well, like this is the amnesty period. We're like, <laughs> ask it now, and it's completely not a stupid question. It's above board, and it's kind of the free window. Uh, well, there's a couple of things. Okay, so here's what I want to tell everybody at home. You only have one time in your life to not know something. Once you know it, you kind of know it. So you don't have that opportunity to be just completely fresh and green ever again. So we're utilizing, and Christy has been gracious enough to kind of volunteer herself uh, to be part of this whole experiment. So all right, so let's uh, let's play a little rapid fire game of like what's something that we say that you don't understand or, or um, just doesn't make sense to you. How about grinding a jig? It sounds like a dance move. <laughs> okay, so first of all, a jig is a, a lure that has got a head that's compact and generally it's got a skirt on it. Um, yeah, it's a lure. It's a lure that you fish on the bottom. What's a skirt? The skirt is the stringy thing like on the bottom oh, of like a spinnerbait. Spinner exactly. See, she's getting it. So the jig is a uh, kind of a dead of winter, dead of summer. Actually, it's a year-round, universal, easy-to-fish lure um, that is uh, very compact. You can stay in contact with it real easy, uh, drag it along the bottom, and you can hop it, you can drag it. So grinding a jig basically means that you're dragging it along, you're bumping it into everything, you are fishing it really slow. Uh, there's swim jigs that you swim that look like bait fish. A jig, for the most part, though, is representative of, uh, of a crawfish uh, when it's on the bottom, or a, a brim, uh, or, or small, big-bodied, you know, wide-body profile bait fish when you're swimming it through the water column. Uh, unless you put a trailer on it and use a lighter color, then you're represented a shad or, or some other type of bait fish. That's a swim jig. But when you talk about grinding a jig, you're talking about grinding it against stumps underwater, rocks, treetops, gravel. In other words, keeping it in contact with cover or structure. So cover is the stuff that's in the water. Yeah, I got structure that. is the changes. Anything though that's permanent is considered structure. Anything that's temporary that can rot away, that can move away, that's cover. Uh, a lot of people use that interchangeably, but it's not. So structure is hard. It is permanent. Cover is own structure. Trees, grass, things like that that can fade away. Uh, in, a, in, in a standing timber situation in a lake where that tree is pretty much going to be there forever, that's still considered structure but it's also cover so anyway grinding a jig that's wow. one what else what's the next one how do you not get it caught on stuff well they have a weed guard it's a little monofilament stiff monofilament bristles that are molded into the head and you kind of spread them out and then the hook point kind of hides behind it and uh, that makes it weedless for the most part so and that and the the style of head that you choose uh, whether it's a, a football jig head is a wide head and when it comes in contact with a treetop it kind of hops over the top a uh, brush jig is got a more of a pointed head and a swim jig has got kind of a hybridized head but more of a pointed head for swimming it through the water column football jigs for the most part uh, the head looks like a little football and it is Imagine that. it is the we kind of name most things <laughs> what they are that's not true okay most representative of what they are to us that's not true as anglers nope. like what like i've heard you call a bass about 15 different things yeah but it's all kind of representative of what they are like what's not representative of what they are that we call a bass like we call them lunkers. What does that mean? It's a lunker. It's a big 
It's a big bass. It's a lunker. We, have, we mostly have nicknames for big fish. Small fish are dinks. They're all dinks if they're small. Everything else is like a, a slaunch what, what or a, a toad. A slaunch. It's a I don't big. Even know what that is. It's a slaunch. It, the word like means what it sounds the like. Word has no it's meaning. just a. It does. It means <laughs> big ass bass. Like big freaking sloppy fat belly cankle tail bug eyed like. Monica, like I call them Monica's back yeah. in the day, like Monica Lewinsky. Big, fat. With its mouth open. With its mouth open and doesn't huh. mind being on TV. See, it's got some foundation I and some it. stuff. And then you've got, um, <laughs> you've got uh, pigs. We call them pigs. Um, we call them. What's the difference in a pig and a hog? The same thing. A hog is generally bigger than a pig. Pig is kind of like just at the beginning of trophy. A hog is like, damn, like a like a extra, like a just a you know like a pig is a small, you know, so do they pig swine, and then it's a you know it's a it's a hog when it's like a big pig. Do they you know? change names at different weights. Sort of, and it depends on where you're from. Like a pig in Rhode Island is a lot smaller than a pig in Texas, but it's representative of like what's a big fish where you're at. So what other things have you heard us call them that doesn't make sense to you? So we call them toads and hogs and slaunch and... Slaunch is a made up word. Lunker. It's not a made up word. It's, it's slob. We call them slob. Yeah, I'll tell you what, slob? stop. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to let everybody else out there let the kbfers chime in tell me below what you call a big fish and tell me if you think any of the ones that we've used are made up words i think slaunch is a word i don't think it i is. bet you it is i bet if you google it nobody knows i bet you if i bet you you do well it would be in some fish or dictionary exactly which means it's a real word <laughs> anyway comment below and tell me what your big fish thing big fish name what do you refer to a big fish as and while we're at it what got us on this subject is <laughs> things that christy doesn't know so do me a favor and also comment below and tell me what topics are things that your significant other your buddy has has said or, <laughs> or you know what? she's called you out on and said what the heck does that mean and uh we'll shoot another video and we'll let christy <laughs> help us talk it out and figure out whether it makes sense or not I think slaunch is a word. What about, anyway. What about things they think I don't know? Okay. How about y'all? <laughs> that wouldn't be very hard though. Because you're just, I mean, yeah. you're just getting started. Yeah. So it's like, okay, okay. So we're going to play stump the chump, which is basically <laughs> you ask me a question to see if I know the answer to it. And then we're going to shoot a video answering the question. I'm going to ask Christy the questions without her knowing what they are. And we're going to play stump the chump and shoot another video and see what the responses are. So do me a favor, comment below with your questions for Christy. Comment below and tell me what your favorite name for a big bass is. And um, as always, give the video a big thumbs up if you like it. Uh, shoot Christy a comment below and say thanks for playing along and helping us have a little fun uh, on the miles between. And, uh, you know, post up anything else that you'd like to see us cover. Um, while Christy learns to fish. So anyway, I'm Chad Hoover, Kayak Bass and TV. Do me a favor, please subscribe to the channel so you'll get a notification every time we release a new informative and entertaining video. <laughs> and we'll see you next time. Slaunch. Slaunch is a freaking word. It's not a it, word. It's a word.